It's basically a, a type of an autoimmune disease. So it's an, basically the autoimmune disease targets your digestive system. It can be anywhere from your mouth to your rectum, any parts. Most of the time it's your intestines. Um, so it's, it's called an inflammatory bowel disease. And so for me, the area that my body targets to cause the disease is my, the junction between my small and large intestine. So basically what happens with the disease is um, it causes inflammation and because of the inflammation you have lots of symptoms like pain, cramping, diarrhea, weight loss, malnutrition, you don't absorb nutrients very well because of the inflammation in the, in the intestinal wall, things like that. So eventually you can, you usually are on lots of pretty harsh medications. Um, I had surgery to remove part of my intestines about 10 years ago. That can happen as well. It can get so severe that you have to basically have all your intestines removed and get put on a colostomy bag for the rest of your life. So it's, it can be not fun, but I've learned recently some different ways to deal with it um, that does not include medic medication. So it's pretty exciting actually. From my research, it's been a while, but I do believe in like North America, the you know, United States and those areas, it is more common than other areas of the world. I do not know the prevalence. Um, and as far as what causes it, they're, they're pretty unsure. They do think it can be hereditary. I'm not sure if I agree, but they, <laughs> they do think that. One new um, portion of research that has just come out well, maybe not that new, but is um, that the disease has to do with certain types of bacteria in the digestive system that cause the inflammation. And so they have limited it down to two types that if seen in your, um, when they take samples, they can, they can, um, pretty much turn things around when they can get rid of those two types of pathogenic bacteria in your gut. So, so that is one cause they think it might be from bacteria. So yeah, one thing that I haven't really touched on is the effect psychologically Crohn's disease can have. It can, well, when, when the disease is pretty progressed, it can also make you pretty depressed. <laughs> And that is due to the physical changes and physical imbalances due to Crohn's. So because you're malnourished, you do not have those vitamins and nutrients, they're not being absorbed through your food, that affects your brain pretty, pretty intensely. So during that time where things were pretty severe when I was 16, before my surgery, you're you're pretty sad all the time. You don't really, you're not very happy. And that's, you know, that's pretty common with malnutrition. And um, another, another aspect of Crohn's that I haven't really talked about is exercise definitely helps. I need to do much better about that. But, but just like with any disease, exercise helps. So that is another thing that I've seen has really helped me when I am good about it. I feel a lot better but I guess that's with everything. So 